He is known for being a British civil servant, educator, and public philosopher. He is recognized for his work on Hegel, mysticism, and moral relativism. His name is Walter Terence Stace. In the early 20th century, a British philosopher named Walter Terence Stace embarked on a remarkable journey of exploration into the realm of mysticism. Born in 1886, Stace dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the spiritual and metaphysical dimensions of human existence. His thirst for knowledge and understanding led him to serve as a civil servant in Ceylon for over two decades, where he was exposed to the rich tapestry of Eastern philosophy and spirituality. During his time in Ceylon, Stace delved deeply into the works of mystics and philosophers, seeking to bridge the gap between rationality and transcendence. His writings on mysticism, such as Mysticism and Philosophy, and Teachings of the Mystics, garnered both praise and criticism. Critics argued that his approach lacked rigor and was tainted by his perennialist beliefs. However, Stace's impact on the field of mysticism cannot be underestimated. His exploration of the nature of consciousness and the possibility of transcending ordinary experience left an indelible mark on philosophical discourse. Stace himself once remarked, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, expressing his belief in the eternal cycle of existence. As the protagonist of his own philosophical journey, Walter Terence Stace continues to inspire generations of thinkers to push the boundaries of human understanding and embrace the mystical dimensions of life. Walter Terence Stace, a renowned philosopher of the 20th century, made significant contributions to the field of epistemology and ethics. His work in the 1930s and 40s was heavily influenced by a philosophical framework known as phenomenalism, which can be seen as a form of radical empiricism. Stace sought to understand how the mind arrives at its belief in an external world, starting with what is given to us through our senses. In his first book, The Theory of Knowledge and Existence, published during his time at Princeton, Stace delves into the intricacies of empirical epistemology. He aims to trace the logical steps through which the mind justifies its belief in an external reality. This work can be seen as a critique of pragmatism, a philosophical approach that emphasizes the practical consequences of beliefs rather than their truthfulness. Stace's ideas also found expression in his paper titled, Refutation of Realism, which was a response to G. E. Moore's famous refutation of idealism. While Stace does not outright claim that realism is false, he argues that there is no compelling reason to assert its truth. Therefore, he suggests that realism ought not be believed. This stance challenges the notion that our perceptions accurately reflect an independent external world. Moving from epistemology to ethics, Stace explored the concept of moral relativism versus the existence of a universal moral law. In his work, The Concept of Morals, published in 1937, he delves into the question of whether morals are subjective and relative or if they are governed by a general moral principle that applies universally. Through his investigations into epistemology and ethics, Stace's phenomenalist philosophy provides a fresh perspective on our understanding of reality and morality. By questioning the foundations of our beliefs and challenging the idea of an objective external world, Stace encourages us to critically examine our assumptions and approach knowledge and ethics with a renewed sense of inquiry. In 1948, Walter Stace penned an influential essay titled, Man Against Darkness, for the Atlantic Review, delving into the topic of religion. He observed that the spirit of scientific inquiry had fostered skepticism towards religion by challenging the notion of a divine purpose. The focus shifted from deciphering the ultimate, final cause, to understanding the causal factors behind events, leaving many with a sense of purposelessness and meaninglessness in life. This shift had far-reaching consequences, including moral relativism, the individualization of morality, and a loss of belief in free will. A year later, in 1949, Stace participated in a discussion at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology on the social implications of scientific progress. In his essay, The Need for a Secular Ethic, he argued that while supernatural or metaphysical justifications for morality may be in decline, it should not lead to a crisis of moral faith. Stace proclaimed that, morals have a perfectly firm and objective foundation in the human personality. He reminded his audience that morality can be grounded in human nature itself, rather than relying on external sources. In 1954, Stace delivered the annual Howison Lecture in Philosophy at the University of California, Berkeley. His lecture focused on the intriguing topic of, mysticism and human reason. Stace explored the relationship between mysticism and rationality, seeking to bridge the gap between seemingly contradictory approaches to understanding the world. He sought to reconcile the mystical experiences of transcendence with the rationality of human reason, highlighting the potential for these two realms to coexist and enrich one another. Later in his career, in 1957, Stace found himself embroiled in a controversy surrounding Dr. Joseph Hugh Halton, a Roman Catholic chaplain at Princeton University. 
Halton criticized the university's perceived liberal stance, singling out Stace for censure. The Princeton president, Dr. Robert F. Goheen, supported by renowned philosopher Jacques Maritain, took action against Halton, stripping him of his title. Despite this controversy, Stace remained committed to engaging with the public and continued to give lectures at various university campuses across the United States. Walter Terence Stace's contributions to philosophy, particularly his exploration of secular ethics, the role of mysticism, and the objective foundation of morality, continue to resonate today. His writings and lectures aim to bridge the gap between scientific progress and the enduring questions of human existence. By emphasizing the inherent moral foundation within human nature, Stace encourages us to seek meaning and purpose in our lives, even in the face of a changing world. Walter Terence Stace, one of the pioneers in the philosophical study of mysticism, was someone who dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of the divine. His profound understanding of the subject and his ability to offer solutions to its major issues made him an influential figure in the field. Stace's work in creating a phenomenological classification of mystical experience solidified his reputation as a leading thinker in this area. He was considered an important representative of the perennial philosophy, which sought to find a universal core in religious feelings. But Stace's philosophy of mysticism didn't emerge out of thin air. It was deeply rooted in his earlier empiricist epistemology, a fact often overlooked by his critics. At the heart of both his epistemology and his analysis of mysticism was the concept of the given. This term, commonly used in phenomenalism to understand the nature of experience, held immense significance for Stace. He believed that the given formed the basis of our knowledge of the external world and of ourselves. It possessed the properties of certainty and served as the ultimate justification for all human knowledge. In his theory of knowledge and existence, Stace explained that knowledge arises from the process of interpretation of the given. However, he acknowledged that distinguishing between the given and its interpretation was not an easy task. For Stace, the pure experience or sensation he discussed in his work Mysticism and Philosophy was essentially the same as the given he had been writing about earlier. It was through this lens that he explored the profound depths of mystical experiences and sought to bring them into the realm of human understanding. Stace's philosophy of religion and mysticism holds great relevance in our daily lives. By delving into the nature of the given and the interpretation of experience, he offers us a framework to comprehend the divine and find meaning in our existence. His work reminds us that knowledge is not only derived from logical reasoning but also from the deep exploration of our own experiences. Stace's insights can help us navigate the complexities of life, providing us with a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In 1952, Walter Terence Stace, a philosopher known for his exploration of the intersection between religion and science, published three groundbreaking books. These books delved into the ongoing struggle between religious beliefs and the rise of scientific and naturalistic worldviews. Stace had been exploring these themes since the 1940s, and his essays, Man Against Darkness and The Need for a Secular Ethic, laid the foundation for his later works. One of Stace's books, Religion and the Modern Mind, dissected the medieval, world picture, characterized by a religious and purposeful view of existence. He contrasted this with the modern world, shaped by the rise of science and naturalism. Stace also examined the romantic reaction to these changes. In the final section, he delved into the intertwining of religion and morality in the modern world, arguing that morality finds its roots in both utilitarian considerations and mysticism. Stace's The Gate of Silence was a poetic meditation on religion and naturalism. In this work, he explored the concept of a flat world devoid of meaning, purpose, and value. Stace rejected the idea that spirituality could offer solace in such a world. He wrote this book four years prior, during a phase of intense intellectual and emotional exploration. Another significant work by Stace was, Time and Eternity, which he described as a defense of religion. In this book, he sought to reconcile the seemingly contradictory nature of God as both being and non-being. Stace argued that all religious thought and speech are inherently symbolic. He also proposed the existence of two realms of being, time and eternity, which intersect but do not contradict each other. This work is considered by many as Stace's most profound contribution to philosophy. Walter Terence Stace's exploration of religion and mysticism offered profound insights into the nature of existence and our search for meaning. His books provided a framework for understanding the complexities of religious truth and its expression in a modern world influenced by science and naturalism. Stace's works continue to resonate today as we navigate the challenges of understanding divinity and morality in our daily lives. In 1960, Walter Terence Stace released two groundbreaking books on religion, namely, The Teachings of the Mystics and Mysticism and Philosophy. 
These works presented a simplified version of his philosophy of religion and explored the concept of mysticism through examples from the writings of mystics. Stace believed that mysticism could be understood as the apprehension of an ultimate non-sensuous unity in all things, a concept he saw as prevalent throughout various cultures and traditions. In Mysticism and Philosophy, Stace made a clear distinction between mystical experience and its interpretation. He approached the subject as a philosopher, empiricist, and analyst, rather than as a mystic himself. Stace identified two types of mystical experiences, extrovertive and introvertive. In extrovertive experiences, mystics perceive the unity within the external world, while in introvertive experiences, they perceive the one within the depths of their consciousness. Stace also delved into the question of whether mystical experience should be considered subjective or objective, and he explored the different philosophical perspectives on the relationship between God and the world. Stace's thought on mysticism was further summarized in two lectures he delivered at Mount Holyoke College in 1961. In these lectures, titled The Psychology of Mysticism and The Philosophy of Mysticism, he emphasized the psychological qualities of mystical experiences. Stace believed that the psychology of mysticism could only be investigated through introspection, as it is a phenomenon that goes beyond ordinary sensory intellectual consciousness. He identified mystical experience as a realization that the personal self is identical with the infinite self. One of the central questions Stace pondered was whether mystical experience can be considered subjective or objective. He argued that the unanimity of mystical experiences across cultures does not necessarily prove their objectivity, as illusions can also be found in all cultures. Instead, Stace proposed the term, transsubjective, to describe mystical experience, as it does not fit neatly into the categories of subjectivity or objectivity. He defined objectivity as, orderliness, meaning that it aligns with the laws of nature, rather than simply being verifiable. Stace's philosophy of religion and mysticism provides valuable insights for navigating daily life. By exploring the nature of mystical experiences, he invites us to contemplate the possibility of a deeper unity that transcends our ordinary sensory perceptions. Stace's examination of subjective and objective aspects of mysticism encourages us to question our own beliefs and interpretations, recognizing that there may be different perspectives on the nature of divinity. Ultimately, Stace's work invites us to embrace the mysteries of existence and seek a greater understanding of the profound connections that unite all things. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.